You've probably seen reports online about someone third party testing a bunch of supplements and that they're fake and this is a huge problem because the supplement industry is unregulated. That's true. There is zero law in either the UK or the US that prevents basically anyone from setting up a supplement company, filling a bunch of capsules with sawdust and selling it. You would eventually get caught by food standards, at least here in the UK, but you could realistically do quite a lot of volume before getting caught. To demonstrate this, I have essentially brought five of my competitors' products of Amazon and sent them to a lab to third-party test. So we're going to compare how our product lines up against our competitors in this video. So of the six brands that we tested, two were within the label claim and one was pretty close and the rest were pretty significantly less than what the label claimed. The first was Lumen Nutrition, which was supposed to contain 4,000 FU per two capsules. However, the test revealed it only contained 2,660 FU per two capsules, which it means it's 33% underdosed. Next is Doublewood Nutrition, again, supposed to claim 4,000 FU per two capsules, but the test showed it only contained 2,800 which is 30% undosed. Bulk supplements should contain 4,000 FU per capsule. However, it only contains 2,680 FU, which also means it's 33% underdosed. Horbatch, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, supposed to contain 4,000 FU per two capsules, contain 3,720, which to be fair, it's only 7% underdose, and I believe the legal requirement is within 10%, so not a million miles off. Next is Dakin, which is supposed to contain 5,000 FU, but actually contains 5,920 FU, so it exceeded the label claim, so a fair play to them. Our Nato Kinase supplement should contain 5,000 FU per capsule it actually contains 6720 so literally no wonder why we're making no money we're literally giving away way more than what we should in a capsule uh, does mean it's an overdose so you are getting more than what you pay for I will post all of the raw PDF files that the lab center so you can look them over for yourself the reason why so many brands are underdose is because of just how the supplement industry works right the brands that you buy from realistically most likely just buy from a contract manufacturer whether it's domestic or in china so they'll pick a supplement that's hot like creatine for example they'll go to china or their third party manufacturer and say right i want a thousand units they'll buy in bulk so they'll say get it for let's say six dollars a unit and then sell it for like thirty dollars or forty dollars a unit that's their business model so they're not really the ones responsible for the manufacturing so they are essentially relying on third parties quality control assurances and not their own on top of that the actual manufacturer is also buying raw ingredient from another supplier so there's a whole other area where the manufacturer could also be getting ripped off by a different supplier and they won't know because they're not going to be the ones paying for the test right they're just fulfilling a contract because we've had this happen to us right we obviously buy raw ingredients from suppliers from all over let's say we buy nasokinase at a dose of i don't know a thousand fu per gram or whatever let's just say for example we buy it we obviously test all of our stuff because we care about this and it should contain a thousand fu per gram but let's say it contains 600 we will then go to the supplier and be like okay you send us shit stuff and they're like oh sorry like you know it's an accident let us send you higher quality stuff realistically they know what they're doing they're just trying to pull one under especially when it's the beginning of the relationship if you don't test they will send you the lowest quality stuff possible to make the most amount of profit i'm not saying contract manufacturers do that they probably are not the ones that are deliberately like lowering the dose so it's just sort of the nature of the beast if you're buying from especially china like chinese third-party manufacturers like a lot of supplement companies do because it's cheapest there then you are just opening the door to many different parts of the manufacturing process where something could be underdosed or let's say not a blind eye turned and that reduces the quality of the product another thing to look at is particularly on amazon right Amazon obviously sells a lot, it has a lot of traffic, so it attracts a lot of sellers. But if you look at most of the supplements that rank at the very top of Amazon, they're all really cheap supplements. It's always like, at least here in the UK, it's like 10 pounds, even less sometimes, like brands like Nutrition Geek, stuff like that where it's just really, really dirt cheap stuff. And that sort of incentivizes this race to the bottom mentality of who can get the cheapest supplement on Amazon, because if you can, you'll climb to the top of the rankings and do the most volume. 
The problem with that is brands are essentially incentivized to get the cheapest possible product across the entire supply chain it means everyone's being squeezed so everyone's going to be more likely to cut corners just to meet the contract because they know if they can get to like really low unit costs they potentially will have huge volume i mean i would recommend buying supplements from amazon especially really cheap ones especially if you actually care about the product itself being good i mean the tests that i've done here right you'd have to buy double some of these brands to get the proper dose especially considering they're only four thousand and FU, right? But yeah, that's basically just my thoughts on this topic. I'm going to potentially do more videos like this where I just buy a bunch of random supplements on Amazon and just test them and just see what they're like. You know, I have a feeling that probably a lot of stuff in the market right now is super fake. So if you like that type of content, please do subscribe.